there. I am here with Riley from Denmark. Hello. Hi. How are you? Very good. How are you? I'm very good. You look so young. I mean, if I saw you on the street, I'd say like you're 16 maximum. No. Yes, you do. Stop. I mean, you do. Is that a good thing though, 16? If you said like 20, then maybe. Listen, you're 16. I mean, if you were 16, then I would say, okay, yeah, you look okay. like 16. I mean, it's normal. But now that you're a bit older and you look like 16, I mean, that's the best thing, especially maybe, for the future. But maybe when I'm 40, I'll then be like 32. You know Not I mean? 32, 20, 20, 22, I'd say. Even better. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Riley. So you belong in the generation. Zed, I'd say, I mean, you are involved with Instagram, TikTok, and everything. Did you see any increase in your followers when you were selected to represent Denmark, or...? Um, I think on Instagram, yes. TikTok, no, because it, there, it takes more to, for it to tick up. Uh -huh. I think I only see an increase of a hundred thousand because I have ten point something, okay. and then it only so I don't I don't I didn't really see it, and I don't okay. I don't really like paying attention. I, I look at for people's comments and if people have something to say. I like that kind of stuff. But followers, nah, I don't really want to look at that too much. Do you care about the followers, or do you just care about like being authentic and being who you are and like promoting the song? I think I used to care when I first started. I cared a lot. Because I think everybody is like followers. It's it's like a almost like a currency that we use. But now, no, I don't care as much about. It. I don't really care as much about social media anymore as I used to. Because I don't know. Just I just i just I feel like I'm more in my career now where I'm releasing music. So I care about you know that. I care about my music, about performances, and about you know an odd like connecting with an audience and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Of course. I see. I mean, you have like a special thingy that changes a bit your voice in the chorus of the song. Are you going to use that in Liverpool too? Yes, I am. Because it's actually, um, it's actually not my voice. It's, it's like a vocal layer. It's actually a part of the instrumental. Okay. So it doesn't change my voice. It okay. just adds like a thing. But we've actually, since, since the Danish uh, finals, we've actually dialed it down a little bit. So it's not as much as it was. Okay. But it's still going to be like different and very interesting, I guess. Yes. Uh, can you tell us some things about the stage presence? Uh, are you going to change your stage presence from um, Danish MGP or uh, the one that you're having in your mind? or? I have to. Okay. I mean, I have to because it's a big, it's a much bigger stage. It's a bigger show. You know, performing at Eurovision, I mean, you have to just go all out and do it as big as you can. So that's what we're gonna do. That's amazing, and I can see that you're not afraid. Although you look 16 years old, you're not afraid of showing to the people your music and your song. Thank you so much for your time, Thank Riley. You so much. Uh, can you give us a small message for your fans in OJ Greece? Sure. Um, my message is, I think it's just to, to keep being fans, to keep being passionate. I think you inspire a lot of people. You inspire people like me to see your passion. So just keep, keep going. Thank you so, so much for the support. Thank you so much.